close your eyes, be aware of the breath, and talk to yourself about the breath too. As the Buddha says, direct a thought and evaluation are part of the first jhana. People sometimes ask, how do I start doing direct a thought, how do I start doing evaluation? We're actually doing it all the time. It's his way of describing the conversation that goes on in the mind. You direct your thoughts to something and you make comments. You ask questions, decide what you like, what you don't like, and you live with this all the time. Ever since we learned how to put language together, we've been talking to ourselves. And the problem is we talk to ourselves a lot, a lot of times in ways that are really destructive, so we can put ourselves in a really bad mood, simply by the things we focus on and the comments we make about it. So the Buddha is saying, there are other ways of thinking, there are other ways of evaluating, ways that are more conducive to putting an end to suffering rather than causing more suffering. This is why we listen to the Dharma, why we read the Dharma, why we try to memorize the Dharma. So we get some idea of what some good conversations inside might be, like right now with the breath. You could sit here talking about what a miserable meditator you are, or you could talk to yourself about well, what's going on with the breath. How does the breath feel? How does it feel in the stomach? How does it feel in the chest? How does it feel in the head, in the hands, the feet? What's going on? How can I breathe in a way that's going to be more conducive to a sense of well-being inside? And once there's a sense of well-being, how do I maintain it? And once I maintain it, how do I let it spread? These are all useful things to be talking about, because nobody's forcing you to talk in ways that are destructive. Your internal chatter is entirely yours. So why let yourself pull yourself down by the way you talk to yourself inside? This will especially be important as you, as you get older and your faculties begin to fail. You can't see as clearly as you used to. You can't hear as clearly as you used to. The messages coming from outside will get more and more garbled all the time. And you have to depend more and more and more on what you're telling yourself right here, right now. So try to make sure you have, a, you have a habit of telling yourself good things, useful things. Memorize some passages of the Dharma so that it's, the Dharma is floating around your head all the time. It'll be there when you need it. And it'll change the tenor of your conversation. So instead of being one of the causes for suffering, it becomes part of the path to the end of suffering. So take advantage of the fact that you have this freedom to talk to yourself. If you can talk to yourself in ways that are helpful, it's a way of showing goodwill for yourself. Because otherwise you just weigh yourself down to no purpose at all, trying to think in ways, evaluate in ways that lift you up. And take the Buddha's examples. He shows us different ways of breathing, different ways of thinking, different ways of talking to ourselves. So we can do this process of fabrication with more skill and more knowledge. So instead of becoming a cause for suffering, it becomes part of the path to its end.